So last summer I, I offered a course at Britannia and called it Food Literacy. It was uh, something I thought was, was a lot of value in that neighborhood. And basically, you know, we came up with a bunch of different topics and this word map here shows the 23 uh, sections that we covered, one per day. And so I'm a geography major and this slide just shows where we're located in Vancouver, but what I was trying to do is, is blend geography with home economics, which is what I want to do in the future with my career. And so Britannia, this is like the heart of community to me. I volunteered here for over a year, and so when it came time to apply for this grant, there was no question this is where I'd want to teach the course. You know, this place is rich in social capital, and this course is something that wasn't offered there yet. And so we get together and prepare food. That's obviously the hands-on part. And it was really great to see these students learn from mistakes. So uh, incidentally, this day we were preparing rice and we had to do our best with what we had. So using a pressure cooker pot, not as a pressure cooker, turned out to be quite the adventure in learning. And then this was by far my most challenging day as a teacher. I was given the task of teaching these students how to develop knife skills. And so a lot of them had honestly never used knives before. And so we met in the morning and I gave a demonstration and I tried to set up the room in, in this manner. And we, I think we cut 20 different vegetables that day and made a huge colorful stir fry that we shared with others. And it was really great to see how they did. One day we had a guest come from Bishop's Restaurant, Avellino, and he brought his recipe as well. This is called punch potato with, uh, with local salmon. And, the students made this and they were really impressed by what you know, a special plating can do to a dish. So this is a dish we had at a French restaurant we went to. And although it was an amazing experience, the students learned so much about etiquette and fine dining. We even got a tour of the kitchen here and uh, they got to see the makings of a fancy restaurant. But the next day we made this dish, basically brown rice, lentils, kale, carrots a little garam masala and coconut milk, came out to less than 50 cents a portion. And I honestly think they loved it just as much. And so we shared that meal with here, the Kettle Friendship Society. So this is located across the street. And the first day of the course, I realized we we're going to have leftovers. And it was a good thing to be able to prepare more food. And so Kettle Friendship Society gladly um, received our food donations every day. So much, in fact, that the students really wanted to go visit there themselves and uh, it became a really strong part of the course. And so with the Kettle Friendship Society, it created this cycle of empowerment and, uh, and of community. And so with the grant, I was given money and resources to offer this course. And so then I empowered the students with knowledge and with the ingredients to prepare food and so forth. And then they would bring that food to Kettle Friendship Society and feed people in the community. And really, it just it kept moving because when they go to Kettle French Society, it would give them motivation, which would motivate me, and it was a really great model. And that's it. That's what I did last summer with my Chapman grant. Chose this picture because it shows where I'd sit at my desk and wait for the students to arrive. And uh, I can honestly say it's the best experience I've had at UBC.